HTTP has been there for a while, more than 20 years on the internet. It is based on a client server architecture, and of course, it resides at the application layer and uses port 80 in many cases. The full stack of the HTTP communication is depicted here on the screen. We have the HTTP request from the client and the HTTP response from the server. The HTTP request is comprised of the request header and the request message on top of the TCP header, IP header, and the Ethernet header. Similarly, the HTTP response is comprised of the response header on top of the response message. If you want to take a closer look at the HTTP request and response messages, you have the header on top of the request message body separated by a blank line. Similarly here, in the response message, we have the message header and the message body separated by a blank line. You can see the fields here as we will explore. Before jumping to Wireshark, I want to highlight the HTTP status codes. If you receive a code that starts with the number 2, you are lucky everything is successful. Status codes starting with 1 are informational. Status codes starting with 3, it means that the page was redirected to another page. Status codes starting with 4 are client errors. Status codes starting with 5 are server errors. Open Wireshark, locate your Wi-Fi network, double click on that to start the capture. Now go to your browser and just locate this website here that doesn't exist. Just make sure that it returned an error. Now go again to Wireshark and stop the capture. In the display filter, type HTTP. So as you can see, we have two requests. The first one is GET and the second one is also GET and in both cases we got a 500 internal error. So let's see the fields in this GET request. Just go here and expand that. We'll see the method is GET. The host we're trying to get data from is ULP Lebanon. The user agent is Mozilla which is requesting the data. The accept actually mandates the acceptable media type the host is willing to accept. Similarly for the encoding that the user is willing to accept and the languages. Here languages can be many and can be split by a comma. This is the blank line separating the header from the message body and this is here the message body. Let's discover the response. So here we got 500 internal server error. And here we have various parameters defining the server that the website requested is running on, the version, the date of the request, and the blank line, as well as the response body.